Carnahan fam. Today we are moving forward with our preschool units focusing on unit eight, spring. Like I said, this is our eighth Eighth. There we go. This is our eighth preschool unit. So if you're looking for some other units for your preschooler, head over to our website at thecarnahanfam.com and you can find all of our other play-based preschool units. I didn't even introduce myself. Holy cow. My name is Kaylee Carnahan. I'm an early childhood educator, kindergarten and preschool teacher of 10 years. We love to learn. We love to play and we do that all day long here. So we're going to share a couple of those things with our play-based preschool program with you guys today. But on our channel, we don't just do preschool. We do tons of other fun toddler activities all throughout the year. So if you're not yet subscribed to our channel, take a second to go ahead and hit subscribe and turn on that little bell so that you can see whenever we're posting a new video. Another thing is we are also back on Instagram sharing stories daily of the ways that we're playing and learning with our kids, whether it's life skills and the ways that they're helping in the kitchen or preschool things. We're sharing all of that and more on our Instagram page. So if you like what you see here, definitely consider following us on Instagram as well. And finally, this is our part two for our play-based preschool spring unit. So if you haven't seen our part one, it goes over tons of our book recommendations, our supplies, and setup for this unit. All right, let's dive into the vocabulary that we're going to be focusing on for this unit. The words that we're going to be focusing on for this unit are are bee, butterfly, flower, garden, ladybug, leaf, plant, pot, puddle, rain, seed, soil, sun, umbrella, watering can, and worm. Now to two of our literacy based activities. We have two kids who are very different places of learning right now. One who is just starting to learn their letter names and sounds and one who knows all the letter names and sounds and is beginning to put those sounds together to make words. And our literacy based activities can easily be manipulated in order to meet the needs of very different levels in your household and can be changed from year to year as your preschooler learns and grows. For our first activity, we're doing a flower petal match where we drew some basic flowers on a poster board with the target letter in the center of the flower. Then on small little sticker dots, we wrote many of those same letters as well. Then we encouraged our preschoolers to match those stickers to their flowers. So our beginning learner only had one flower and one letter. So every time we matched a sticker petal to the flower, we reinforced the sound that the letter makes. And then for our preschooler who is competent with letter names and sounds, he did the activity way more independently. We talked about words that made that beginning sound and even put some of those sounds together to make words. Our next literacy based activity is a bug spray. And to set this activity up, we drew some chalk bugs on on the sidewalk with a letter or a simple word on the inside. Then before our preschoolers went ahead and sprayed those bugs down, they identified the sound that the letter makes or read the word. For our one that is learning her letters right now, it's a great way to get lots of exposure every time she sprays those letters. So every time she's spraying her bug. And then our older preschooler who's beginning reading got a lot of practice blending the sounds together in order to spray his bugs. Now let's move on to our two math activities. And our first math activity is a sorting activity. Besides just identifying and writing numbers, categorizing is another math skill that should be introduced to early preschoolers. For this activity, we started off by categorizing the seeds by the type of seeds that they were. So pumpkin seeds went in one spot and watermelon seeds seeds went in another spot and cilantro seeds went in another spot. We were able to talk about the difference in size, seeds that were big versus seeds that were small or seeds that were medium, the shapes of the seeds, some seeds looked like a ball and some seeds kind of looked like a raindrop. Comparing the different shapes and sizes of the different seeds or otherwise categorizing is a great early math skill for your preschooler. The next math based activity was very, very open ended and very explorative. And this took place in our sensory bin. So again, if you didn't see how we got that sensory bin set up, be sure to check out our part one video where we showed what exactly went into that sensory bin because it was a total hit. This open-ended sensory bin was super fun because together with the kids, we played planting flowers, digging in the soil, putting different flower stems in the pots, and counting the flowers that we planted. Very simple and very open-ended for whatever level your preschooler is at. For our younger preschooler, 
where we modeled so many times the basics of counting. One, two, three. We planted three flowers. For our older preschooler, he was able to do more of that independently and identify the flowers that he was planting and how many he was planting himself. For an even more advanced child, or even getting into your kindergarten age child, you can even do it with planting some flowers, planting some more flowers, and seeing how many flowers you have in all. Next, we're going to move into a fine motor activity. And one of the fine motor activities for this unit was making paper straw stems. And this was simply done by providing some paper straws and we did some green ones so they kind of looked like flower stems and then using the plastic flowers that we had for this unit and together encouraging your preschooler to put the flower stem inside the straw. This is a great activity for hand-eye coordination, strengthening those little fingers and they really have to focus on getting that stem inside the straw because the opening really is not that big. This is just a short preview of five of the activities that are included in our play-based curriculum, but if you are looking for more, we have a whole unit with 10 literacy activities, 10 math activities, seven open-ended fine motor art, social skills, all the works are included. So definitely head over to our website and check that out if you're interested in some more spring activities for your preschooler. Now let's get to the giveaway. We got a friend joining us now. Say hi. Hi! Hi! Let's do a giveaway, giveaway, giveaway! Yeah, even Ainsley's excited about it. We're gonna give away 10 copies of our preschool curriculum. Oh, are you going? Oh, that was short-lived? Okay. So for this giveaway, you're gonna wanna head over to our website at thecarnahanfam.com. On the homepage there, you will see our new spring curriculum getting ready to launch. And the first 10 people to enter this coupon code Right here, we'll get the curriculum absolutely free. If the coupon doesn't work anymore, it's probably because they are gone. They are taken pretty darn quickly these days. So we wish you luck if you're hoping to score one of those free copies, but otherwise the units themselves are available for purchase if you want them. All right, we have two more curriculum units for this year. Unit number nine is gonna be Me and My World, and number 10 will be Up, 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 Up in the yeah. Sky. <laughs> When you go upside down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. We'll see you again next time. You say uh, bye. Yeah. No, I say bye. Bye. Can you wave? <laughs> bye.